Let's meet our second challenger. Will you come in and sign in, please? Henry H. Swartz. Is that right? Mr. Swartz, where are you from? Long Beach, California. Long Beach, California. All right, Mr. Sports at the panel. Will you meet me over here? Do you know how we keep score, Mr. Sports? Yes, sir. Good. In that event, we'll let everybody in the audience here in the theater and those at home know exactly what your line is. that Mr. Swartz is salaried, and let's begin the general questioning with uh, Dorothy Kilgallen. Uh, Mr. Swartz, do you work for a profit-making organization? Yes. Is there a product in what you do? Yes. Is it a useful product? Yes. Uh, <laughs> would you say that I might have this product in my home? I have mm. rather a large house. You, yeah, I would say... <laughs> Now, actually, Dorothy, this would uh, depend on a set of circumstances. You could. Mr. Mm -hmm. Swartz would not be aware, actually, of all the circumstances necessary to your having it are fulfilled. So we'll say you could have it. Is this solid rather than liquid? Solid. I don't know that I even asked product. Oh, yes, I did. Um, it's solid. Could I hold it in my hands? Yes. Uh, if it were in the house... Uh, would it be out of sight most of the time? In a closet or in a drawer or a cupboard? Yes. Is this <clears throat> consumed? Yes. Is it eaten? Or yes. <clears throat> is it eaten by human beings? No. One down and nine <clears throat> to go, Mr. Niven. But it's eaten by the animal kingdom, to coin a phrase, isn't it? Yes. Four-legged animals. Yes. Animals that, if I was standing up, would be below my knee... <laughs> if you were lucky. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. I got a hundred. Hunch David's looking for his own level tonight. That's all right. Um, uh, animals that customarily do not purr. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Agony, isn't it? Um, dare I say it? Dogs. Pardon? A dog. Yes, oh, yes, yes. Listen, I'm great. Go ahead, just <laughs> <laughs> so, Something that is consumed by dogs, dog food of a sort. Uh, dog no. food of a sort, that's no, that's two, two thousand and eight to go. Consumed by dogs and isn't dog food. What are eating these days? It'll all come out in the wash. But right. it, it is something a dog uh, puts in his mouth. Or her mouth. Well, it's, let's say, oh, it's put in the dog's mouth, you know, or something. That last yes. dog, I had a little trouble with a knife and fork. <laughs> would, <laughs> would a dog that didn't know what it was doing swallow it? Would a dog that didn't I know mean, what he was doing swallow it? It isn't, it isn't something that a dog would ferret out for itself. It is something you give a dog. Yes. Uh-huh. Is it a... <laughs> no notes. I won't tell you what Dorothy wrote on the pad. I didn't read it. Oh. <laughs> David wrote it. And it was a nasty. Well, now. Uh, <laughs> is, this, is this something that would contribute to the health of a dog? Yes. Could it be considered in some way a vitamin for a dog? And mind you, dogs have, you know, there's A, B, C, D in everything. <laughs> No. No, but I'm three down no and seven to go, Mr. Sir. Maybe now, it is what let's, said. if Arlene will subside for a moment. I will. Uh, <laughs> let's, um... <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's try to get some facts here. You say it is consumed, it is not food, and it's solid. And dogs, well, they don't eat it if it's not food. Uh, dogs do swallow it, though. Yes. This stream of consciousness is very interesting. And it's not a, we have a question. And it's not a medicine, you said. It's not medical. It's, it's not, not a, a vitamin. It's not a vitamin. Is it some kind of, is it some kind of uh, substance that makes the dog uh, sleeker or bark better or do something to improve his general health and condition? Yes, I'd say so. Well, uh, a solid, uh, is it some, it, would it be called a medicine? Yes. 
Well, what do we have to get if he's... Well, if what's the medicine, medicine, Benny? What's the medicine? Of course. <laughs> I think what I'll do is throw all the cards over because you could guess all night, and actually you've done very well. I think Mr. Swartz huh? would agree. They've, oh, they've done oh, very well. Did he try? Yeah. Oh. What did you say, Tranquilizer. David? Tranquilizer. Tranquilizer oh. is right. Mr. Swartz, yeah, is, Swartz is the sales manager for what Lambert, is, Lambert, K. Lambert K Company, and they make uh, medicines for dogs, and this is a tranquilizer. When you have an, a dog that's as nervous as a panel member, I mean, um, uh, a dog that's nervous, you give them one of these tranquilizers, and they travel better with them. And, that's uh, correct. Don't <laughs> bite the postman Cheaper as deeply. Cheaper than an analyst. You know, smaller, Mr. Smaller Swartz, bite. Mr. And by the way, I, all the cards are over for the record, and Mr. Swartz has asked that his is uh, small scorecard winnings be given to the American Indoor. Humane Association, and this will be done. And thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And of course, the funny part about it is, for the first time in nine and a half years, I recognize the fact that I don't know how these get down here or come off, which is pretty interesting, too. And we'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first, here is a message from our sponsor.